Good morning. The topic for today is literacy and young people. Statistics show that a love of reading has a big influence on children's academic success. The top 2% of students in the country read for 65 minutes a day. The top 10% read for 20 minutes a day. In contrast, the bottom 10% read for one-tenth of a minute per day. That's basically not at all. Now, the best way to improve students' reading is to get them to read more. But teachers will tell you that motivating children to read can be difficult when they prefer to watch television or listen to music. Today, we're going to learn about an organization that uses music to get students interested in reading. And here to talk about it is Gwyneth Dunn. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Tell us about Artists for Literacy. Well, we collect songs that have been inspired by literature. Uh, for example, a song that's been written about a character or a situation in a book. And then we make the song available to teachers. There are a lot of popular songs that have been inspired in one way or another by literature. Oh, like the Beatles wrote, I Am the Walrus. Wasn't that inspired by a poem by Lewis Carroll? Yes, it was. But also U2, Metallica, Sting. They all wrote songs that were inspired by a novel or a story or a poem they had read. So we compile CDs of songs inspired by literature, and the artists donate the songs. Uh, so, for example, we've got Suzanne Vega's song Calypso. That was inspired by Homer's Odyssey. Bruce Springsteen's song, The Ghost of Tom Joad, that was inspired by a, a Steinbeck novel. And teachers use the music in the classroom. I guess you're looking at, what, uh, middle school, high school? Both. Both middle and high school teachers use them. Teachers in adult literacy programs use them too, actually. What do the teachers do with the CDs? How do they use the songs? They play the songs and they study the lyrics. And that gives the students an idea of the plot or the story or the characters that are in the book. Sometimes there's a video they can watch. And, oh, we have interviews with the artists, too, on our website. It all helps to get students interested, and then they're more ready to read the book. That sounds great. I guess reading is scary to a lot of kids, but music isn't. Yeah. Oh, we also did a project where students read a novel. Then they wrote and performed their own songs about the story. So it works the other way around, too. How did this organization come about? Well, the founder of the organization, Deborah Pardis, wrote a song that was inspired by the book Angela's Ashes. And she performed the song on the radio. And after the performance, the radio station got a lot of emails from listeners asking about the book. So she realized that listening to the song got people interested in reading the book. That's an inspiring story, Gwyneth. Thank you for being with us today. You're welcome. For more information about Artists for Literacy, go to their website at...